Alrighty, perfect. Let me expand this. Okay, so we're ready. Um, how have you been since the last time I've I've spoken to you? Um, well, I've I've been doing my shadow work. Hmm. Um, and it's just uh, every and actually everything has just kind of calmed down and gotten better since I act, since I was have been doing the like the shadow work. Yeah. Oh, that's that's great. That's what you know. Those are the kind of results you should see. And it's actually <clears throat> for you. It feels a little fast, and that's great because people could spend a long time um, doing that. I mean, we're always spending plenty of time working our. We'll work on ourselves till we're ninety. You know, until we pass. Um, but um, it's great that you're seeing some results. You know. Um, as quickly as you are, you know? Yeah, and um, I I have a house under contract. Wow. Um, in the uh, final stages, uh, if you will. Um, yeah. It's been sent to underwriting. It's um, uh, waiting on the appraisal to be scheduled. It's paid for, just waiting for the schedule. Yeah. Um, Tentative closing date is August 2nd. I mean, it has moved super fast. Yeah, that seems so. And and I mean, I think we covered this in the last reading. And um, yeah, we covered this. It's something about patience. I, you know, I mean, I do a ton of readings. <laughs> but patience, because it really is coming in. I do remember that. And yeah. Um, there you are. I mean, we, we saw it happen. It, it's a different place, right? Is it a different place? Then. Well, I didn't <clears throat> actually have a place when we talked. Uh huh. I had. You were I you were trying to get this particular vision. place. No, no. Oh. Uh, okay. This is this is new. Um, I had a vision of what I wanted. Yeah. Um, and this is not quite my vision, but it has that potential. Yeah. We talked. So, we talked something about that. I remember. I can't remember the details, but we did talk about something about um, something to the effect of. Let's not get crazy when the picture doesn't look exactly what we're envisioning, because yeah. we have to have that trust in the universe that it's actually making something better for us. Right. So I remember we had that conversation. Yeah. Yeah, and um, and here it is. It's unfolding. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you want to get into today with the tarot? Um, a little bit of everything. I also okay. have a date tonight, so that's exciting too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fun. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. So a little bit of everything. You just want me to dive now. Direct questions tend to give you direct answers. But we can play it that way if you want to. We can do it that way. I think you wanted to do it that way before too. But um, yeah, because I mean, there a lot came out in the last time when we did it that way. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> that's true. That's true. I, I still encourage everyone that you know, um, direct because when you well, okay, have a, so... have a sense of knowing what you what what you want and then ask about it the universe will get really direct. Like, okay. it could be as simple as, is this day gonna be a good one? You know, yes or no. And they'll give you the yes or no, they, you know what I mean? Um, so, um, uh, they'll be direct like that. Um, and then okay, if you want it, you know. Let's go with, um, is because the- Let's put it this way, let's, they, let's put it this way, let's do this at least. Right, because I know you kind of there's a there's a part of you that kind of wants to get somewhat general to see what comes out. Why? Let's put it this way. Why don't um, <clears throat> um, you do it topic by topic? So if you don't want to okay. ask a specific question, what's the first topic? In other words, I don't want to lay out cards and say, "Well, I see family over here, and I see um relationship over here, and I see house over here." Um, at least let's do it topic by 
topic. And this is what I really want to encourage people to do. So because it's it's encouraging you to start mentally compartmentalizing and organizing. I want this in my life. I want this. And you have the right to do that. Like people have the right to, you know, instead of relying on the cards to say, oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I want to encourage you to um, use your sovereignty and say, this is what I want to happen. Is it, you know, it does it look practical that it can happen? You know what I mean? And then if it doesn't right. look practical, how can I switch my vision? We don't want to use tarot to stop um, using our vision, to, to stop practicing our what we want. We don't want the cards to tell us what life is going to be like. Um, we did, we should design what life is going to be like. We want, I want to encourage people to have more of that confidence. And then the tarot tells us, okay, well, how practical is this for, you know, now maybe it is practical, but down the, you get the idea. So let's just say what subject matter, uh, family, uh, you pick the subject matter and then we'll dive into it. Okay. Uh, tentative closing date on the house is August 2nd. So let's, let's start with that. Okay. You want to know stuff about the home. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Chariot energy. So I think it's going to, um, I'm seeing the chariot right now. Um, and I think um, that's a very good sign. It's a card of success, of breakthrough. <clears throat> and... Um, Practicing your sovereignty, even. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, hey, talk to me about this home and moving situation and new home. Wow. That's what we're opening with, the Ten of Cups. And then I saw the chariot at the bottom of the deck before. So this is um, part of your spiritual advice uh, to go ahead and embrace it because it's where um, it's where you're going to be happy for a long time here. All right, we've got the Strength card in Material World. We've got, wow, look at this is the home. This is the four corners to a home. So this is the four of wands. Uh, this is in communications. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what all that means in a second. So in the challenge, you've got the seven of wands. And I really like the seven of wands in the challenge as opposed to, say, having any of the other cards that I showed you in the challenge. Um, you're up for the challenge. You'll know how to deal with everything so, um, and then the Queen of Swords in the um, emotional space. Okay. And this is just about the home. So when I said emotional space, we're not talking about dating and stuff like that. But um, obviously we have emotions tied to um, everything, to where we live, to where we want to go out to dine and eat. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Wands. So you've got a really good energy going on here as far as your home situation. I really think it's gonna continue just as things have been happening fast. That is that momentum is gonna continue and um, speed up. It's go, it's gonna go for a while. I do see the decorating. I do see that you fixing it up exactly the way you want it, and um, it's going to get. It's going to be the vision that you want it to be. <clears throat> it's going to be the vision that you want it to be. Um, um, <clears throat> and that's part of the fun I'm hearing. Um, some people can just like buy a home and, you know, um, it kind of just, they buy it and it looks exactly like what they want it to. Uh, but it's not because they're extra lucky or they're great manifestors. I mean, they can, that could be an element of that, but also what's good for us. Maybe it's good for us to design it the way we want to design it. And really, and, and so, um, I definitely think that that is definitely part of your theme. That's probably why I gave such a spiel like, oh, you know, in, you know, in opening up your reading, uh, I think it's a theme of your life of really 
practicing, um, sure, sovereignty, but what's the word I really want to use? They want you to practice molding things the way you want them to look and stuff like that and to use your imagination more and um, not just try to do like what could be like cheap law of attraction um, for some people to just have it show up the way they envision it. Um, I'm not saying that that showing up is cheap, right? Um, I'm not saying that exactly, but for depending on the person's journey the path that they're on it can be kind of cheap it's like <clears throat> let's put it this way that's part of what you need to learn so those other people who can manifest a situation that looks exactly pretty much the way they pictured it they have in their journey they have other different types of challenges where they um they have to be more flexible and learn a certain lesson um, so, uh, they still have their journey that has its own challenges that may not be, you know, necessarily, you know, um, I mean, I mean, okay. So if we, I'm just thinking of, um, Trump all of a sudden and it's like, well, yeah, he could probably manifest something that looks exactly the way he wants it to in two seconds. But what are his other challenges? I mean, look, all the stuff that he's facing. I mean, he's, free, I call him the master of law of attraction. I, I don't even know how he does that. Um, yeah, I don't know how he puts up with all this and he's just, you know, everybody else would have, um, sank, you know, it doesn't matter if he's right and he's, you know, um, truthful, honest, right, um, not deceptive, um, um, it doesn't matter. People will cave to the pressure that the dark forces are spewing at them. Um, but he right. doesn't, but he doesn't. And so that's his challenge. But he could probably manifest the house that exactly that he wants. You know what I mean? So right. <clears throat> for you, the, it, it, I, your, your, your guides are coming through. It's like, no, we want you to have a great home, but we don't want it too perfect. We want you to make it perfect. You go in there and start decorating it the way you want. And you will be communicating with people. Um, I see you sort of... Um, this could go in a multiple ways. Friends could be helping you and giving you ideas, sending you links of, um, you know, I'm just making this up. I don't know exactly what it would be, but like this bar would look beautiful at this corner of your, this room, um, you know, um, a little bar set up or a little, you know, whatever exactly, you know, they may be sending you links to pieces of furniture. Uh, it could be Craigslist links. Or you may be going to um, thrift stores, things like that, negotiating with people. I want this piece of furniture I, or, you know, whatever the case, or this knickknack um, for my home. And I am seeing things like that. So a lot of communication about the decorating. And so it could be your, even your own family, you know. Um, yeah, and I'm seeing you like send pictures or videos to certain people. That you trust, obviously. Uh, you know, embrace this journey. This is one of the best things in a long time. You're gonna have fun with this, and uh, embrace it, and 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 um, allow the fun. As silly as that sounds, because you know Abraham Hicks, the art of allowing, is one of their phrases and books. And um, there's so much available to us. Uh, we tend to not allow. I do this too. Like I'm saying this, and there's a certain amount of almost either downloading or channeling that I'm doing while I'm reading the cards. But when I'm not reading cards and I'm walking down the street, I do the same thing that every other human being does and doubt myself and stuff like that. And then I have to bring myself back to balance. Uh, but with the challenge, the seven of wands, you're up for anything, anything that is sort of thrown at you as some sort of curveball. It's not going to be difficult for you to handle. You're up for it. You've got the confidence for it. And so the card before this is the Six of Wands, which is a card of um, success and uh, victory. And uh, really it represents an archetype that's come home. It's a homecoming. Um, they've come home from the battle, metaphor there, successfully. And what happens when you have success? Or so someone opens up, let's say, a storefront, just making this up. Great, you opened it up, you succeeded, you did it. Then after that, though, there's the upkeep. 
Let's say it's a coffee shop, okay? The upkeep, what is that? I gotta sell enough coffee, keep this business off, uh, open. You know, I've gotta hire the right people. So there's upkeep here, and it's continued success from the Six of Wands into the Seven of Wands. Um, it's continued success, um, uh, and those success has have those those successes have post challenges. You know, so the first challenge was opening up the coffee shop. This is a metaphor, obviously. The second challenge is right. is um keeping it open, selling enough coffee or whatever it is that you do, you know what I mean? Um, and so it's looking good. You've got the energy and you've got the, 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 the willpower and the drive and the enthusiasm to sell enough coffee, metaphorically speaking, you know what I mean? Right. So this is very right. good. Um, so I see you also in this process this is probably why you're going to be so successful with any other um, challenges that come along. And they're not these like major challenges like, you know, it's not a major challenge like I'm going to lose this place or something like that. It's more like, to be honest with you for now, I also feel that a lot of people are going to have stuff to say about what to do with your home. I don't know exactly what that means. Maybe the the decorating aspect to it. Um, but I see you anyway being a really good, um, what feels like shot caller and being really good with your, um, you know, with your self-empowerment in this process, actually. I feel like you know how to talk to people very directly. And it's not offensive but it's like, it's almost like that, but not offensive. So it's like, you're not offensive, but also I need this done. But you're not offensive at the same time. It's a beautiful balance. And that's what I'm I've getting from- I've been in mid-management before. So, uh -huh. I, you know, I had to learn how to, uh, how to like talk to customers and- um, Walk the fence. Yes. Of Yeah, walk the fence of- talking to customers then good well that has served you that has served you really well because it's here and i see you uh continuing in that energy you're really expanding so the strength card hold on here strength card this is the only one that um throws me off slightly it definitely doesn't feel like anything negative but what is, are they saying here Can I get something on the strength card? Ooh, the Hierophant, wow. Wow. You're taking charge of your life like never before. Yes, I am. That is so, like there's a, in my head I just asked myself, why is she getting a reading? I guess to make sure you're on track and this is looking really good. You know, because I'm used to people getting a reading when they feel like their life is falling apart, which there's nothing wrong with that. I get that. But, you know, basically half the reading is going to tell them to just start taking more control and, you know, um, roll with the punches. And, um, and then, of course, how can we do that? Um, but, and the reading will let them know how to do that. But it's, it's kind of cool to be on a good course and just do a reading just to make sure. I feel like I'm on a good course. Am I? Let me get a reading to find out. That's cool. I like that. Um, you're going to be there for a long time. You're going to say, and also, I feel like you're not going to rush, but right, like, don't rush. Like, enjoy the weeks and months ahead of making it look exactly like what you want. One week, you may get this new piece of furniture. You'll throw out some furniture, maybe. Replace, you know. Um, another month, you'll get this painting to hang up on your wall if you want to. Things like that. So it's not like you have to have it all done in one weekend. 
enjoy the process of building you know and actually it could be fun you may even want to take pictures um your first time there living there your first day or night and then um the next week what does it look like in the next week um just to just it might be fun just to document it a little bit yeah um so this is looking amazing if there's any specific question that you want to know about this um let me know and we'll ask the tarot <clears throat> Um, are we going to close on the second? Based on what we see here, I would say yes. Okay. Okay. I'm just asking them how many shuffles they want me to do. Okay, so we've got the Seven of Cups here and the Five of Wands. All right, so. I do see a slight delay, believe it or not, or there's a disagreement about something. Can I get something more? Yeah, there's a, there, so you're gonna have a little bit of a challenge here. Um, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna like it, but I have the Eight of Wands as well um, at the bottom. So there is going to be a slight delay about something and it feels like you're going to get worried about, oh my God, am I going to get this? Um, but um, you are going to get this. So it's, you're really hard on yourself when it doesn't come out at, like perfectly, perfectly, perfectly the way, you, the way you see it. So they're going to tell you something about why there's delays. Could be a week or two. De delay, can it be that? Yep. Yep. Couple weeks delay. And so um this is this may be um a a a good little challenge for you, you know. Man, the universe sometimes purposely will throw that one little monkey wrench like, "Okay, you're in a good place. You're in a good um you're in a good uh vibe. You're manifesting what you want." um to test your to test your faith in me I'm gonna throw you one little monkey wrench we're gonna delay this for two weeks little monkey wrench in your plans okay. are you gonna have faith are you gonna to continue to have faith in me um so uh, i've got the five of wands here which is you know a little bit of conflict could be a little bit of conflict in communication um and um it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> but the Five of Wands is um, resolvable. It is a conflict, but it's resolvable. The Five of Swords is more like someone's trying to pull a quick one, right? So that's not what we have here. We have the Five of Wands. This is where you're going to use your, your knowing how to talk to people and um, making happen for you what you want to happen. And I don't know, I, 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 I kind of hate it for you too on the ego level, but on the spiritual level, I know what they're doing. They're testing faith, they're testing faith here. I know people want to, um, like, I thought I got over this shit, or I thought I had this all... Why isn't it going... I want it to go from point A to point B, period. I don't want any detours. You know, people... So you're one of those people that gets really hard on themselves about yeah. minor detours. Yeah. yeah. You are. And I do remember that from the first reading. So um, it is going to pan out. Um, there's going to be some delay about something. I, I don't know. Um... Oh, this happened at the bank. Or, oh, this, you know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's going to, um, it's going to get right back on track. Eight of Wands. It's going to, the, the momentum in that specific, you know, about that specific date, the second, it's going to, you're going to run into these, a uh, little bit of trouble. It should, it's, it's going to, well, it shows here that it can freak you out or it's going to freak you out, but you don't have to let it freak you out. You know, I'm even okay. hearing too that you can have a little fun with this 
and just embody more of this energy which you have and have fun being a little bit of a shot caller. This is what I want, you know, in a obviously respectful way, not necessarily um, obnoxious way because people can do too much of that and then be obnoxious. Um, but right. um, yeah, so that balanced way that we talked about before, which you already have, it's like they may want you to even have a little fun with that um, and exercise that. A little bit uh, but you don't have to go into this nine of swords you know it's kind of like you don't have to go into this you know things start getting a little clouded up and it's like wait what the fuck I thought we had this all set what's going on well this happened here and this happened. and so no I think it's gonna be fine but you know this is like them talking to you but you know we just got some delays or we just got this and then you worry about it but i'm not sure if you're actually worried about it or if you're just hard on yourself why didn't it come out like i painted this picture damn it so, <laughs> so i'm not sure which one it is are you actually worried about it or are you just kind of like self-judging what am i doing wrong that i laid out this blueprint perfectly what am i doing wrong yeah, right now I'm just kind of anxious. Yes. I'm trying not to be excited. Oh, to disappoint yourself, right. Right, right. So I've just been kind of anxious. Don't be too anxious. It's showing up here that the anxious, this is what this is. Don't, don't be, don't be. Because, um, because, um, Say to yourself, God's got this. And he really does. I've been I've been having a personal issue lately I'll share with you. I, 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 I'll decline from sharing the actual issue, but I've what I've kept reminding myself is that I don't have to I don't have to um it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I don't have to um worry about the outcome. Um I trust that whichever way that outcome turns out, and this is me talking to myself, and it's not that I trust yet. I'm working to trust, so I'm telling myself this. Um, and that's my exercise. That's my, you know, my shadow comes up and is like, wait, wait, hold up. I don't have to, you know, why would I not trust that the outcome is the best situation? Right. And I do see the outcome of you getting it. I almost feel like they want to test you along the way. Are you going to continue this faith in me? Or do you need to have the proof in front of you? Not that well, you don't deserve the proof. Uh -huh. They kept putting me off and putting me off and putting me off. So I think I've been tested enough. <laughs> yeah. I know, but they want you to get, they want to get you in a rhythm where... They want to get you in a rhythm where um, the testing isn't just for testing's sake. It's for it's for practice. It's for uh, how do I say this? It's for um, it's not for testing's sake. It's for practice to get you into a rhythm of. I understand that every outcome. is for my best benefit. And do not confuse that statement at all. 100% don't confuse it for, I'm training myself to accept lower than what I want. It's not the same thing. It's not, it's not. Because if you can get into that rhythm that I know that all things are for my greatest outcome, that's literally what they are. That's, li it's literally that way and Amazing outcomes. Yeah. 
No. Literally, like, yeah, I'm literally. Being... Yeah. Now I'm hearing myself and I'm hearing myself as if I'm a different person and I'm literally just like you better remember that for yourself, Mike, actually. <laughs> so, um uh I see I do I do see a couple of delays, but I don't see you not getting it. Okay. okay? And so you know, maybe two weeks. That's what came up. Maybe two weeks. I also feel, man, you're going to hate this. I feel like they're going to project it could be a little longer and then it actually ends up being shorter. Like they may say, you know, like give us three weeks and then and then a week and a half to two weeks later. So actually, we're ready. Something like this. Okay? Okay. So you know how it is. I'm thinking back to my um, the old days in the... 1991 when my mom bought her first house and the delays that she faced i'm, I'm kind of it's taking me back to that in my mind and um i remember her being worried about it and it's totally totally normal um but she got it you know she 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 got it so you know what her to give you an example like it could be something like this i remember her delay was um They had built something, the person, the previous owner had built something there that was out of, out of, uh, what do you call it? Zoning, something out of zoning, like out of, or, okay. or not, it's not zoning. But you know when you have to, if you build something there, you have to tell the city or whatever, you have to tell them. You have to get a permit. Yes, and, and they didn't do that. So they had to actually take that down and that was a delay. And do it? Yep. And that was it to make it to code, to make it to code. Yes. So that was a delay. And that was something that happened to her. So it's something like this kind of thing. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's going to be that, but I do see something that's a delay, but it's not going to stop you from getting it. And that's going to piss you off. But this is a, this is a test for you to just be like, all right, I'm cool with it. Fine. You know, I'm cool with it. You know? I actually could relate to you. It's, it's probably not as hardcore for me, but I can relate to a little bit of, you know, of what you got going on there. So that's what I see for the second. <laughs> okay, but okay. you're good. You're good. You're going to be so happy. <laughs> yeah. All right. What are so, we getting into next? Um, Start reshuffling. This date tonight. Cool. Uh, this guy. I love that you have a date tonight. Uh, I, I'm, I, it's, I'm excited, but I'm not. It's, it's so weird. And what's even weirder yeah. is that, okay, so I'm kind of wondering if, if, if we were really meant to be because he is actually from the same area that I'm from originally because I'm in Georgia now. He's now in Georgia. We're both from Illinois around the same area. Um, we, uh, back in the day, we yeah. used to cruise the Avenue and he, and he, he, we both did. So we had to have passed each other. Um, yep. there was a bar that I, I went to a few times that he went to, um, uh, I mean, there's just so many coincidences and yeah you know it's like we were meant to meet yeah and it was like timing was so close but not close enough yeah I, I don't know it's weird yep okay let's look into it um that sounds really fun first of all and um yeah. it does yeah um certainly you were meant to meet i'm gonna tell you that right now meant to meet could mean a lot of different things as well though. Right. so let's yeah let's see here so let me go ahead and uh, focus in, focus on my, and I always encourage as well for, um, you know, the, the, the querent to also, as I shuffle, to I should have told you this in the beginning, it's okay though, but to also, as I shuffle, because I'm focusing in, I'm trying to summon my guides, um, or I'm calling in my guides, but I'm kind of trying to summon in yours. Um, as well, I want them to be present and I want them to um, help guide this. But, you know, as I shuffle, put out into the ethers um, 
the, the universe, but especially our little space that we got going on here to um, get the answers that you want. Yeah. All right, so let's find out about this situation here. All right, this is for Andrew and our date tonight. Well, my guides oh. did make it very known the last time we talked. Oh, did you see that? The last time we talked, that we that they were they were there. Yes. With the whole Titanic thing. Yes. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> wow. These are some of the cards that I'm getting so far. Wow. Okay. Seven overhand shuffles. And we're going to do... Mm, okay, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am hearing how the chapter, this is, you got a new chapter totally unfolding. They want to um, highlight that factor, which we know that, but they want to highlight that factor. Right, so you have the King of Pentacles in the spiritual advice. Very nice. You have the Magician. Material world. All pertaining to this situation here. You have the Two of Pentacles in communication. You have the Seven of Wands in the challenge again. Wow. <laughs> and you have the Three of Cups in the emotional space. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, this is a kindred spirit for sure, and the hanged man at the bottom of the deck. And this one, I'm actually gonna get clarification for. I'm gonna use a different, use a different deck for the clarification. So I see a lot of good things here. I see. Oh, okay. Someone here may want to take it slower. I don't know if that's you or that's them. So this is just the beginning. But as time goes on, one of you may be more speedy than the other. And the other may be, you know, speedy with the desire to move a little faster. And the other one may be not as speedy. And so that may, that, that could cause a minor conflict, but it doesn't look bad. You have way too much fun. So it's like, it's like, even though there's this conflict, conflict might be too strong a word. Even though there's this um, kind Challenge. of lack of seeing eye to eye or agreement on how fast to take things. I, and I have no idea if that's you or them yet. But um, You still have so much fun together. And it's like the conflict is overlooked. Okay. Well, he is a Taurus, so we're both Earth signs. Got it. So that, I think that plays in, into that too. Yeah. Yeah. Because someone here is going to be feeling when they when one person speaks the other person is going to the other person seems to be 
Okay, let me rephrase. When one person speaks about a specific situation, probably having to do with um, <clears throat> some level of commitment or what the commitment looks like or even what the speed looks like, the other person gets a little nervous and tries to avoid diving too deep into that conversation. They'll dive into it, but they'll try to change the subject as well. Um, or they'll tap on it for a moment and then try to change the subject because it makes them feel uncomfortable. Because I don't see commitment issues. I see issues about how fast to move. That Again, that's what it's about. Um, and so... And I actually still don't know who it is. Sometimes I think it's you, and sometimes I think it's them for a, for a moment in my head. All right, seven overhand shuffles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got the eight of swords with the king of pentacles. Is it you? I can't tell who this is. All right. Queen of Cups with the Magician. First of all, you are you guys are manifesting a really nice love situation here. Two of Pentacles is the High Priestess. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, the High Priestess is just saying here that someone wants to avoid, again, moving too fast because it's impractical somebody feels it's impractical it has nothing to do with i'm not sure if i want to be with you it's got nothing to do with that nothing nobody is seeing anybody nobody would be seeing anybody else nobody would be seeing anybody else but it's like just as a metaphor not literal but it's like someone is in a damn hurry to put a, a ring on it <laughs> just as um metaphor I'm kind of thinking that I'm the one that's going to be trying to uh -huh. slow things down. Yeah, that's kind I'm, of what I, that's, I, I can't, I did go back and forth between the both of you. I was kind of going back and forth too. Um, but the more I focus on that, the more I feel that that's me. Okay. Seven of wands with the judgment here. This is in the challenge. You got um, pretty good energy in the challenge again because you're going to deal with the challenges uh, j just so well. People think, oh, if I use Law of Attraction enough, I'll uh, remove challenges. No, Law of Attraction is how is so how you can deal with challenges like a like a champ all the time because the Earth School is that. It's about challenges because, right. it, yeah, the, the contrast makes for our expansion. Um, okay. And the King of Wands, nice. King of Wands here with the Three of um, Cups in the emotional space. Very nice, very nice. Um, there's an emotional connection here. There's um, a, um, a sensual or sexual connection here too. There's that, you know... Those kinds of feelings are there. Um, have having a lot of fun with each other. A lot of, you know, this won't this won't be the 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 last date. You'll have more dates. Yeah, with this person, you'll have more dates. The hanged man, and the star card. Wow. Yeah, and that's what I got even before seeing the star card. I guess I should have said it. But then again, the hangman could mean a, a few things, or you know. So anyway, um, how do I say this? It's like from a 5D perspective or from a spiritual sp perspective, you guys have been um, um, waiting for each other. You guys are going to take each other into the next chapter. Oh. oh. Yeah, you guys are going to take into... You've been waiting for each other. It is meant to be to cross paths. You know, it's written in the stars. Um, but I'm saying, oh, because you may have a challenge of
I don't think they're going to give you any like major red flags, but you may have a challenge of um choosing to think or believe that maybe what's happened in the past will happen again. Like even without red flags. I feel it's you. That doesn't want to move too fast. Because they may want to move fast where, wait a second, I didn't even have time to check if there were red flags. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's what, okay, that's what it is. That's what it is. Because I don't see red flags with this person. But that doesn't mean that you had enough time to verify that for yourself. So... That's what it is. I do think it's you. I think it's them that may want to take it fast. And uh, um, you like it, but you want to avoid, you probably want to avoid that conversation. Um, I don't, it's, it's not even, it's, yeah, it's a conversation. It's going to come up, but it's not just a conversation. It's a whole tone. It's a whole vibration. You, you be feel, you know, that things are moving fast. Um, so... That's really interesting, actually. But you are manifesting um, a real connection here. And it is very 3D, but I don't mean that in the negative sense, like low energy, low vibration 3D. <laughs> okay. That's not what I mean. I mean, I mean 3D in terms of like it's in the it's in the physical reality. This is here. And so you're you're manifesting that. And so one of the challenges is going to be, can I keep up with vibrational stuff? momentum with what I am creating with what I am creating and it's a co-creation it's not just one way it's a co-creation um, you might be a little afraid of commitment actually even though you want love like all of us do and that's okay you've been through some stuff but it's it's yeah but also with the eight of swords it's um Well, of course it's not real. There's a phrase that I was thinking about now I kind of lost it when it comes to the 8 of swords. But it's it's not it's not real. It's not an actual. It's just um you know made up fears, which is normal especially as you know, we're like organic, um, conditioned beings. So conditioned beings. So, um, we'll tend to think that when one picture shows itself, that's the picture that's always going to come out every time. That's the scenario that's always going to manifest itself. Um, we tend to think that way. Uh, so... And then because we're so focused on it, it does tend to think that way. So it reinforces itself and becomes a snowball effect. And it's like, yeah, every guy is like this or every, you know. Well, and I, I, I'm I, doing better with that yeah. because anytime um, the devil, if you will, puts that in my head, I'm like, no, that is not all men. Look at my stepdad. Look at my uncle. They are awesome men. They're, you know. Yeah. And so I try to, I I, I really try to focus on that and say, no, that's not true. Look yeah. at them. They're good guys, you know. Yeah, that's good that you do that. And I see that. I see you doing the work here. I, I don't feel like in this reading I have to tell you do the work, do the work. I feel like you are doing the work. So I feel your, your, your challenge with this um and from like a like a 5D perspective it's slightly i don't know cute funny even though in the real in the real world it's kind of like no but the challenge is more um you're doing the work it's the challenge is more like guy give me time to do continue doing the work you know like a little bit like that like i i still have to clear some energy so um Please don't rush me. But at the same time, it's awkward because it's like, well, it's personal work. I'm not going to really, 
It's not like I want to tell you all the details. Like, it's not like you want to tell this person all the details of, well, I have this inner child and I have this that I'm working. You know what I mean? It's like you don't want to go into that with this person. So how do you tell them at the same time, hey, slow down because I have this inner child that I'm working on. Um, So, you know, um, I, I can get how that would be quite awkward. So the challenge isn't really that you're not doing the work or to do the work. The challenge then becomes, um, can you just kind of like slow down um, so that um, I make sure everything is smooth here and that, you know, um, at least for yourself, you're saying you may not say this to them, but, you know, um, unless you feel that you can um i'm i'm thinking not necessarily i don't think it'd be such a big deal but it's also kind of like it's not really the type of conversation it's more personal it's not the type of conversation you need to have with them um that might be something that comes along the way eventually where you can have more um kind of in-depth conversation but this first this first uh this first um what do i call it The first paragraph right. in the chapter, that's what oh, I'll call okay. it. The first paragraph in the chapter is going to be really nice and really fun. So you don't have to worry about that for a while. It's not like on the first date he's going to say, guess what I think we should do? We should do that. We, <laughs> you know, um, that'll come later. So I see it here. So I'm just telling you about it. That'll come later. But um, no, the first date is going to be really fun and really nice. And you guys are going to have fun. You guys are really going to have fun. So, so, um, I'm getting another message and, um, first of all, on a spiritual level, it's a reunion, even though it's not a reunion, it, it, you know, it's a, it's a reunion even though in the 3D it's not a reunion. So it's not like an X and you're reuniting. It's a reunion right. on, a, on a spirit level because you know this person. You know this person. Um, and I'm not necessarily... I don't want to give you it's meant to be because there are a few scenarios that are meant to be. You're meant to cross paths. And then as a byproduct, you could end up together. And I actually see that potential. Um, but I don't want to say... No one is really written in the stars for us to be with. Um, I know people want to debate that with the twin flame concept and whatnot. Um, it's all about exercising your free will. And if you have that feeling, right... Maybe you don't have it like two right away because then we get stuck in a box that needs to be right. this way. But, you know, let's say after two years of dating and, and, and you kind of want to have that, you know, you like that kind of um, uh, feeling and that's the way you want to describe yourselves to people. Um, totally meant to be situation. Um, there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Especially at that moment in time, you would be a vibrational match to that concept. Uh, right. But in the big picture, no one is actually literally designed to um, to be t- together. Um, but you are designed to cross paths. And that's for sure, actually. And you have been waiting for each other. You have been waiting for each other. Which is why you crossed paths when you were younger. Um, so anyway, the other thing that was coming to mind that I was getting is that, um, you know, I think everyone's going to be a gentleman. But there could be that urge. So I'm not saying what to do, what to not do. But decide what you want. I'm letting you know now ahead of time that there's probably going to be that urge. So decide what, I'm talking about sexual urge. So decide what to do about it. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, okay. 
So um, decide what you want to do about that. And I guess you already have. So there, uh, there could be that. But you know what? The urge could also be showing up as an urge and not something that, that, that because it's mature energy. It's not a page. You got a king here. In fact, you got two kings here. Not that it's two different people. But right. when it comes to um, this aspect of the person, it's mature. It's a king. You don't have any pages. You don't have any knights. Knight, not that knights are awful, but if it was the knight of wands, that would um, that would probably be one of the more awful. It's Well, the knight of wands is not always awful, but in this context, it would be. So, um, or it, it just means that they're really trying to get it on the first night. So, um... But what I am telling you, so the urge may just be an urge that will never be spoken of. So it's 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 there, but this is a king, so it's a, it's a gentleman. You know what I mean? So it's not going to yeah. be you know, um, the thought may be there in their head, but it will never be expressed because I'm a gentleman first. So and I couldn't even really tell if it was their urge or your urge but now i have to assume it's their urge because you already said that that's not happening um <laughs> so so um so yeah you have no immature energies here and you've got uh, a, a, the, the queen of, of cups here which is um um it could be symbolizing you and i think it yeah but i also think it's symbolizing the the, the whole the, the whole scenario the whole you know um the open heart chakra from both people and uh and that growing and manifesting right before your very eyes so it's really it's really nice um this person is um someone that's mentally stable for a connection someone that does it despite things not happening on the first night, which um, I would agree with. I would think that's the best thing. So um, um, not that you can't find love in all sorts of different ways. It's all vibration. You'd have to be in the right vibration, right. but usually it's not the, you know. But um, this person has no, again, despite things not happening in the first night, um, this person has no issues um, in, the, in the sack, I guess. <laughs> so that's that always good. Know. That always helps. This person is <laughs> mentally stable uh, for a connection, for the right connection. They're mentally present, uh, stable and present, and um, and heart chakra. So you got a lot. You got all things going on here. These probably like the three best cards I like to see for a relationship: King of Pentacles, um, Queen of Cups, King of Wands. Uh, King of Cups would have been just as good, but we got the Queen of Cups. I think I like the Queen of Cups a little bit better because the heart chakra is definitely open. Um, and I'm not saying it isn't for the King of Cups. It's just that he may not know how to always verbalize that. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, really good cards here. And then the King of Swords is not here, but um, I don't necessarily care to see that in a... In a, in, a, in a love reading. Uh, probably just means you can have good conversation with them, King of Swords, but you know, but that should just be a given. <laughs> so, um, what else am I seeing here? I feel like they will respond well to you not wanting to take it fast, but um, I feel like you're gonna know that this person is interested in you. Um, over time you know probably there'd be a, a sense of that on the first date but over time as well um you get more of a sense of that you know i think you're just gonna have the right amount of fun on the first date and there's the potential for growth here it is here the potential for growth is here anything specific that you want me to dive into as far as this situation is concerned before we um, go ahead and end the reading? Uh, no, actually, I mean, 
that says a lot right there. <laughs> it does say a lot. It does say a lot. This is this is really good, and I feel like the little challenge that you have is hardly a challenge, right? I mean, there's no situation that exists without a challenge, and I'm definitely not coming from a right. negative Nancy place with that. It's just um, being no, real, it's, and it's, thank God yeah. because it helps us to grow and learn. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah, um, and then it's not fun if they're, then it becomes not fun. If, like, if people really stop right. having challenges, it act, it starts to become boring. It starts yeah. to become boring, you know? Um, you know, it's kind of like they say in psychology how um, jealousy is not good, but, like, a small tad is just to, just to, um, just to, um, reinforce the rein to yeah. reinforce the 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 passion is there the passion is there and um um sexual energy can also be um uh sort of tuned up in a positive way um with um that's why you know we don't want a, a relationship based on fights but if people aren't f just having little minor, very minor, minor fights and disagreements in a relationship, very unhealthy. It's also right. everything. Right. In, everything in moderation. That's the key to life. Right. If there, everything yes. is fights in a relationship. No, unhealthy. If there's no right. fights in a relationship, unhealthy. Because y'all don't care about each other. So there's right. no fights. There's no disagreements. Y'all don't care about each other. There's gotta. You know what I mean? There's gotta be yeah. some friction there. Yep. And I'm just being realistic in the in the about the three D world, but can also enhance um um uh sexual uh desire as well. You know? Um uh minor argumentativeness because then it's like once you when you when you get past it, then it's like Oh my god, I love you so much, I never want to fight like that again. You know, um, and then there's right. um, healthy sexual tension. So, you know, not that anyone should start f starting fights. I don't want people to like, <laughs> right. I don't want to encourage people to start fights to create that scenario. Let life unfold itself. It'll give you all the right. things that you need so that it'll, you know what I mean? So, yep. and since this is being recorded and people will see this, they're going to get to learn from this reading too. So... And th thank you for doing that. And you got the twenty percent off. You got the the twenty percent off, right? You it came yeah, back to you, I right? Did. Yep. Awesome. All right. So yeah. I think you. Uh huh. And I I found I found this crystal. Oh my and god! And it was just it was just calling to me. And ever it. since I put it on, things have been happening. I love that. Where did you find that? I need one of those. <laughs> um, <laughs> Illinois. Okay. Um, actually, well, you can go online. I um, hmm. if you go um, Exotic Imports in Moline, Illinois. Okay. Um, they do have a Facebook, but that's where I got it. Beautiful. And oh. it is it, it's gorgeous, and it just was it just spoke to me. It just called out to me. Yeah. And so. Can you imagine what that, that's doing to clear your energy? Oh, it's, oh my gosh, it is, it is helping so much. Yeah. It really is. And it's just help, helping me keep in a vibrational good place. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And it's probably helping you manage, you know, when we release that energetic clutter, it's, and then it helps us manage um, when we get into, you know, um, the little bump in the road, which is usually some shitty thought that doesn't even, Matter. it doesn't even, it doesn't even actually gel with reality, you know? And then, you know, um, it would take a lot of thinking about it, but, you know, sometimes some people do get into that where they think about it so much where it, 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 it then starts to become reality. But, right. you know, um, usually it's not that. Usually it's just, you know, um, energy that slows us down, the bump in the road. So I can only imagine how 
it's helping you with those bumps in the road. And like you were saying before, you know, dealing with the bumps in the road of, no, 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 not all men are like that though. You know what I mean? And you're even yeah. in such a great spot to have the, because not necessarily, everyone's challenge is different. Everyone's journey is different. And within your journey, you're lucky to have the examples. This is a good man. This is a good man. You know what I mean? So use that to your yeah. advantage. Those things, you know, and m- most people do have um, things to their advantage. Like the, the universe doesn't really leave someone completely without some sort of advantage, something to look at to, to as as evidence that things are good in life. Um, um, they'd have to be really vibrationally shut off to completely miss them. Um, but um, yeah, you you have you have some good. Um, good uh pieces of um evidence in your life to to look at and remember so that is that is awesome well i'm really this came out really nice and this is man the first reading reflected where you're at and you this is you've you've come you've come quite a ways and this is reflecting where you're at now uh, as well as where you're going and just looks so damn good it looks so damn good, and you're learning to <clears throat> to um, when you. This is such wonderful practice for you to 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 have that little minor conflict on August second with the home. The practice of you saying no, I I know I know God's I don't I don't like it, but I know um, that God's actually got this so actually um what's not to like and then um um when you um when you put yourself in that mindset with that practice that you're doing right now with that um those hiccups are going to be a lot less because god's going to be like okay now you trust now you trust me now you trust me that trust is going to reflect a whole lot more so less hiccups i'm not saying you'll never get a hiccup but right, less, right. yeah, less hiccups. But I have noticed that, you know, you are focused very much on the hiccups because you're like, I t- planned this without a hiccup. What the hell went wrong here? So you get a little <laughs> hard on, you know what I mean? But when you yeah. don't, when you're not hard on yourself, it's like, all right. Then that's what life starts to look like more. It starts to reflect that way. Like, all right, smooth sailing. You know what I mean? So when you believe more in the smooth sailing, <clears throat> I feel like you're done. You're about done with the with the hiccups. I, um, you know, I guess to put it in super just layman's terms, I feel like this is, you know, one of the last uh, major hiccups. And then you, what's funny is that because in reality there's no such thing as zero hiccups. The thing is, is that it's the way you look at it. It'll be less hiccups, but also any of them that show up is going to be something to shrug off and be like, okay. It's going to be like that because the faith in God is going to be so much more prevalent now. I love and, that, and, Chris. And, I have to find myself one like that. I'm sure it's hel- I'm sure it's helping you in this process. Oh, it is. It is. And you can go online and order stuff from them. Will you send me the uh, link in email? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Andrea, um, it was truly a pleasure, and I'm, I'm stoked for you, actually. Yeah. I'm excited. Hey, and if you're close to Georgia, give me a holler. Yeah, well, I'm going to Florida and um, for uh, what am I, in, in a, like five days, and I'm excited about that. And yes, of course, of course, if I'm, you know, if we're around each other, absolutely. You know, coffee shop, wine bar, yeah, whatever, yeah. you know? Yeah. Awesome. Have an awesome day, okay? Thank you. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.